Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Dev Chanel's 48's World. And I want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me your time. Whether you're spending 30 minutes, an uh, hour, 20 minutes, 10 minutes. Thank you because you can't get that time back. And again, welcome to my channel. And thank you for my 3,000 subscribers. Yes, I hit that 3,000 mark on yesterday. So we're growing together. Yes, we are. Okay. So I want to say um, thank you for coming over to the home. Thank you for coming over to the house. And let's sit down and we got to talk about Buffy and um, Con Dr. Contessa on the um, Merit to Medicine episode today. Uh, I'm telling you, it's a hot mess. And I know we're gearing up for that uh, salacious story that's coming. Uh, episode that's coming on Real Housewives of Atlanta. I can't wait. I'm anticipating it. It's 6.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here over here in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. And I'm trying to see what Merit and Medicine trying to give me too because they're going into their reunion type of episodes. Uh, I don't know if it's this week or maybe next week, but it, it is what it is. Um, they're retiring for their season and they're going to gear up for... Um, I guess it's season eight, I believe. But anyway, we're going to go on and talk about this story that Urban Bell Mag.com brought up, brought out for us to be entertained and pick and choose our perspectives on how they spent it. And you know, that's what I do. I have a theology degree <laughs> in giving my opinions. Okay, I'm opinionated with a PhD. To give my opinions on anything I want to give it on. Now I'm self-appointed. I haven't went to anybody's campus or university to receive that. Okay. But anyway. We have a. Uh, they don't need to give the staff. Let me see if they give the staff writer of this article. Nope. They um, they have a picture of Buffy Parcell. That's actually being shown on UrbanBailMag.com. You type in that uh, blogger site, and then you put in uh, Merit to Medicine Dr. Contessa uh, comes for Buffy Parcell, and you'll get the one, uh, the article that I'm reading from that was brought out on December 6, which was Friday. Okay, but they titled it. Uh, the title of the article was Merit to Medicine Star Dr. Contessa Metcalf comes from Buffy Parcell again. Okay. Now, I don't know about the again, but I can say she ain't acting like it's a family affair. Don't she know it's a family affair? I guess she don't know it's a family affair. But anyway, the only reason I said that is to... <laughs> Sing on my mic one two check but also to say did y'all see the last episode when buffy took her little butt over there and tried to um comfort um dr contessa now i should have thought i would have thought simone or cecil or hell or both of them would have went over there and consoled her because her husband told her hey when she like that just let her go get let her get up from the table let her go on and be in her own little world and then she'll come back <laughs> I'm like, Dr. Scott, she ain't no, um, well, Dr. Scott McCaffrey, but we don't start calling you Scott on this show and contest it because y'all ain't acting like no physicians. But again, this is y'all's second job. Y'all here to give us a little bit of erraticity out there, but we know y'all are professionals, so y'all, you know, this is y'all's second or third or fourth job. I don't know. But yeah, she gonna go over there and console Buffy. I mean, Buffy gonna go over there and console, um, Contessa, because she's sitting up there whining and, and carrying on and crying and, and putting her feelings all into things that shouldn't even been brought to have a feeling for. Because I'm like, Contessa, if you couldn't afford to go to school, you should have just delayed it, okay? Until after your kids got out of the private school or whatnot, or you should have buckled down a little bit more. Instead of you paying that 15000 on them children's birthday party, that could have been halfway for your tuition, and you could have stayed here in Georgia. Not going on wherever that's, what she went, Alabama or something like that. Not crossing state lines, going to another state, trying to get you another degree under your belt because that's something you felt you deserved and you wanted to pursue. Not knowing that you got three kids that's like, 
on you like white on rice love their mommy and don't want to see their mommy going nowhere but in their kitchen in their house doing whatever she they can do to come and bother you uh from sun up to sun down about what they got to do because they know dad ain't finna do all that dad is just there to provide and that's pretty much it he'll try to feed them he'll try to wash some clothes for them <laughs> He might even try to help with a little bit of homework. But he ain't got time for that. That's pretty much a mother's job. That's something like parental that's been going on since the beginning of time. Women are the nurturers. Fathers are the uh, oh, men are the providers. That's just how it is and how it got swung around with that feminine act, that feminist act. Well, we, she, roar and all this, and we just going on out in every field and just slamming it, you know, slam dunking it and showing we can do this too. Hell, even down to the construction workers, okay? We out there doing that doggone thing. But see, some people like me, mm mm. Ain't into all that. Let me get my education. Let me let you know I'm not no stupid individual. Or whether, you know, I got my high school diploma all up to my master's degree and just that in the third. So, you know, I, I, I'm i cool. You know, if you want to sit me down, just yeah, sit me down, okay? I find something to occupy my time. If it ain't nothing but going out there, you know, going into the school system, make sure my kids are being taught the things they need to be taught so they can go on and get them uh, free scholarships so they can pay their own way. Uh, well, not pay their own way, but get all that free subsidy out there for making them good grades, and they get a free ride straight up to a doctor's degree or whatever they want to pursue out there. Because the only thing they got to do is study, sleep, study, and eat. Put some spirituality there, all the way, making a full rounded type of individual. And, and and that's it, okay? Because mm -mm, if I was at home and my husband said I could stay at home, now I'm going to make sure them kids making A's and B's, if not all A's, okay? But we, we know some of them can't stride to them all A's and they got to get B's or whatever. We understand that. Then we can get tutors for them. But since, you know, Scott was out there like, you know, baby, I just want you to be at home. You know, I make enough for us to stand there. You know, and then Contessa, she's always uh, what I'm hearing. Because, like I said, I just got back to interviewing, or not interviewing, but reviewing Mary to Madison. And it seemed like when they were pay, um, playing past clips, she started in her career being a full-time doctor. Then she felt like it was just too much for her. She was just overwhelmed. She wanted to be home with the kids. She wanted to do this. So he let her take a break. Don't know how long that break was. Then she wanted to go back and work. Then she wanted to start getting some more degrees up under her belt or one more degree. And it's taking her time away from her kids and her family, which is the institution of marriage. You know what I'm saying? And then she trying to holler about, Scott didn't support me. Well, baby, he told you you could go in Atlanta. It's going to cost y'all a little bit more money. But if you got it like that, when well, you sitting over there paying 15000 for a children's party, even though it was for all three of them, but again, mine wouldn't have went over five. No, mine probably wouldn't have went over two. <laughs> mm -mm. Because at that age that they are, hell, you could have gave them $100 a piece and said, go let have, okay, babies? Go and let have. Because I'm sure you're getting them stuff um, out throughout the year. You ain't waiting, waiting just to Christmas time to break it all open for them on their birthdays. $100 would have been good. You know, but then again, I'm not a physician. I'm not out there, you know, making money or hand over fist, this, that, and third. So, you know, you can do what you got to do. But my whole thing was, it was Cecil and uh, Simone's conference slash anniversary get together for couples. It was up to them, pretty much, to comfort you and probably use Buffy's husband if he wanted to be put in that type of arena where he could counsel you in some form of fashion probably off the screen because you probably don't want your business up there on there anyway but my whole thing was you attacked Buffy and she was the only one out of every last one of them couples as an even quad she she came up there and tried to console you after you lost your mind at the Scott was like, no, I am not the villain here. You are the villain. You're playing victim and you knew what time it was. Just because I was unhappy and I wasn't treating you this kind of work, you know, which way. I mean, you only had X amount of time to go to school. I would have bit that bullet and kept going since I had already spent so much time already there. And pretty much solidify myself, got used to the class environment, the people, the uh, professors or whatnot. 
I wouldn't have uprooted. No. I had did that. The kids would just have to survive. We got Skype. We got uh, the telephone. We got email. No, and then I was coming home on the weekend. Then we knew, okay, the, um, the house need to be straight because I'm just coming in. We're going to love on each other for them two days. And then I got the jet back. But it's going to be worth it because when I finish school, we're going to upgrade this house. We're going to upgrade y'all bedrooms or, you know, whatever. But we're going to take a summer off and go to uh, Spain or uh, Singapore. Do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Ten but two. And just relax and just be uh, immersed in different type of cultures out there. She could have just had them something to uh, be ready to get ready for. But now she's like, oh, no. the kids, they making me feel bad. Did I, didn't you know all this? Did you not know all this? Couldn't tell. So you ain't dumb. You ain't stupid. So don't play like you ain't got no common sense either. <sighs> you got on my nerve with that. But let me get back into the article. Let's see what else was being said. Okay, it says Buffy Purcell is the married to medicine newbie. This is that has everyone talking. Many have shown support for Buffy on social media after Dr. Jackie Walters claimed her infer <coughs> excuse me, infertile doing a speech at her event. Now, we already done been through that. Y'all have my video where I pretty much had to just do an individual video on Dr. Jackie and how she just, in our eyes, it may not be in the world and the, uh, she doing anything to her Hippocratic, Hippo critical oath that she took as being a doctor as divulging you know patients medical um information out for everybody to you know pay take uh, to part take uh you know or whatnot since it wasn't in a um physician's office and she wasn't seeing her as one of her patients but it just you know she, it was just foul 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 because that's basically your friend you say and why would you purposely want to put her business out there? I think that's what everybody in social media uh, in the world that watched the show probably got upset about or more than likely got upset about. And then they were kind of confused to what's truly uh, an offense or violation on HIPAA laws versus you having a private conversation. It's just between friends and the friend is divulging this information to you. And she did not put. Probably she did not say, don't tell nobody, Jackie, don't tell nobody. And so Jackie just felt like she could just spin that off, you know, empowering people's pain on her platform. And she's going to do what she got to do. But, you know, it just is what it is. So anyway, if you want to watch that video, please go. And it's in my archives of videos. I don't forgot what it is, but I'm sure you all can find it if y'all wanted to see it. But anyway, it goes on to say, however, Jackie's friend on the show appeared to think she is the true victim. Contessa in particular in particular seemingly shaded Buffy before the episode aired. Now it appears she may be throwing more jabs at Buffy and footage film while the ladies got dressed for the reunion. So I'm like, okay, now you couldn't finish that before we went to the reunion. You got to bring up old recycle stuff, uh, Contessa. I mean, you were the one at one particular time on one of the episodes. I want to say it was episode. Uh, 10 maybe where you were asking uh when they went well y'all still on that uh in san juan called i mean san what san lucia where are they at cabo san lucia yeah they still down there and it, i think it was the first time or maybe this i think it was the first time they got to the island and they were having dinner late dinner and um um Contessa was asking um, Buffy how does she feel like being the newbie of the group and you know don't worry about uh, Dr. Heavenly because Dr. Heavenly get on everybody she got on me and this that, and the third and everybody was pretty much was chiming in so I'm thinking she was befri befriending um, Buffy and saying you know if it get too heavy then you come on over here and we'll straight heavily out because I know how she gets down and says you're new newer than I am because I was the last one to come to the group I can educate you and you know I'll befriend you and then we'll get it together you know on the low <laughs> I'll tell you how to get her back in line so I'm thinking she was being friendly to her and understanding her and being like a confidant but then she don't turn around did a hundred degree change over and she gonna come for Buffy and I'm like Buffy was the only one baby that sat up there and came for you and tried to comfort you and console you when you got upset and then you gonna do this piece of trash shit girl Buffy now and Buffy ain't no punk now Buffy show got up in Jackie's behind okay 
and let her know. And then shut down heaven. I mean, shut her down. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, girl. Come, girl. Come on, but figure. Yeah, tell them, you ain't no little punk chick rocking around now. Don't let her fool you. All this glitz and glamour can go hood <laughs> if I have to. And we would hate to see her go hood on you, can tell. Because I don't look like you can fight, babe. But anyway, just deal with it, deal. But moving on back to the article, it said Contessa spoke on someone spinning a situation to look at as a victim. She said, I am excited to let the truth come out in tension. Uh, like, what's the deal? Who is kind of spinning things to become a little bit more entertaining and such a victim or just who's being authentic? Well, honey. The people have spoken, at least on my channel. I have spoken. Buffy is coming with the heat and the fire, baby. Contessa, you just getting lost in the sauce trying to play like, oh, I've been wounded by my husband because he's not on my team or me going back to school. Oh, whoa, is me. Oh, whoa, is me. No, I don't hear that, Contessa. Sit up and get yourself together. You are um, you a married woman, a woman, and you have three kids. You're a mother. Straighten up and fly right. Stop trying to, you play victim and Dr. Jackie playing victim. Y'all start the stuff and then y'all want to throw your hands up in the air and wave them like it just don't care, like you ain't did nothing. No, baby, don't go that way. Foul on Jackie, foul on you. Both of y'all sit yourself down because y'all ain't coming up but negative, okay? So we move on from that situation because, yes, I think um, Buffy is being truly authentic and you are being fake and fraudulent, um, per se, not per se, I'm sorry, um, Contessa and Jackie. Okay, Jackie done somewhat admitted her faults on download when wasn't nobody there but her and Buffy. Okay, she kind of got it. And they probably showed a clip that she did apologize, but she didn't want to do it in front of the rest of the women. Now, you coming out the woodworks, want to assert yourself at the reunion instead of you asserting yourself at your husband on camera and off camera and stop talking. Okay, just look pretty and don't say nothing. All right. Moving on from there, it says Contessa went on to say that Jackie had been targeted. She stated this season for real, Jackie was kind of a targeted. No, Jackie wasn't. Jackie put that bullet hole of a uh, dart uh, or what do you call it? A mark on her back for everybody to shoot them arrows straight to the bullseye. Okay, and Jackie did that all on her own. Don't take off her. We already got Dr. Hevelin over there. Dr. Hevelin over there trying to, you know counteract anything anybody say negative about Jackie like she walking around him like um Mother Mary or somebody like girl Jackie got too many uh things negative going on with how she treat people and how she tell people business for anybody in their right mind to be defending her. Jack is a big girl. Jack is a woman Jackie needs to stand at home she and she needs to definitely be accountable, be held accountable for her negative demeanor. So you and Contessa need to sit down, Dr. Hevelin. I'm tired of it. And I hope I don't have to look at it come, um, what is it, 9 o'clock when I review y'all's show. All right, not damn sure what I'm going to see. Contessa up there is trying to say in and everything because she continued to make herself look <laughs> stupid. Okay. But anyway, um. The article goes on to say, I think it's hard on these kinds of shows to make it. And when you can focus on someone who's already a big star, it's just much easier to make yourself seem a little bit more relevant. Now, I don't know who she's talking about uh, when it comes to these reality stars, you know, putting herself in the realm of true actresses and true actors who actually have to go to school or, you know, they just God given born with that particular talent, which we do have some individuals that are out there. It's just like in their nature, in their blood. But when they go and learn and, and, and learn how to present yourselves on different emotions and stuff, and you actually go to school and study the art of acting, you know, then you become an expert. You know what I'm saying? Because, child, I don't know what can tell us time out. You don't care. <laughs> I mean, do she not know you do get degrees in acting? Okay, I don't know. I understand. And uh, Jackie didn't get no degree in acting, honey. She got it in the medical field. So you're trying to say, this because Jackie, Jackie has been well known as a physician in a very lucrative profession, okay? She don't need to be known for no celebrity ship. 
when she's acting and, and carrying on not like how she should be acting or we would think she would be acting because she is a medical professional so don't give uh, don't make look don't, just handle your own business don't talk about jack okay because jack got enough heat from how she did buff him talk about yourself contest that's problem look at yourself talk about yourself talk about your issues with you and your husband off screen get yourself together baby anyway we move it on from there um then it says, and when Contessa was asked what advice she would give Buffy for her first reunion, she said, just be her authentic self. I think this season I've seen this roller coaster person. I just don't know who she is. Like, that's the challenging part of this thing. I think it's hard to be yourself. However, she is hopefully, whoever she is, hopefully she'll show it today. Also, it appears Heavenly and Quad may have the same opinions. Quad spoke on someone being used as a mouthpiece, and Heavenly has already said she believes Mariah H. Uh, placed the battery in Buffy's back on her show, on her after show. And I'm like, no, no, and then it ends there, y'all. But no, no, ain't nobody put no battery pack. Because if anybody would have put a battery pack, you would think it would have been Simone. Because she's Simone's first friend. Simone introduced her to the show and brought her on. Or asked for her to be brought on. So trying to say Mariah is doing this behind the back. No, cool. Because they were saying the same thing about you. They didn't understand why you was on the show. Because you weren't a doctor. You know, you remember that? And all this other stuff that was coming up. And I'm like, no, no, no. Buffy is being herself. She's true to form. She's just speaking up now. And she didn't really have to start speaking up because then nobody really didn't do anything to her. Because she did have somewhat of a flaw where she thought everybody thought she was Queen B. <laughs> where she didn't know why people was, like, getting mad at her because she's so perfect or she's so this and she's so that. It's hard for her to keep friends because... They are jealous of her. Now, if you want to call that a flaw, I call it too much of self-esteem. And then she needs to tone it down a little bit. But if that's the way she gets down and that's the way she sees herself, who am I to say stop tuning your own horn? Because if you don't, who else will? Okay, only the Lord will. But who else will? Man, you know, on this planet with us. Man and woman. Half the time you got too many people being jealous of somebody's talents and how they um get people to be around them and it's effortless and just a whole lot of different things that can go on to make people not like you they can not like your hair they can not like your color your skin they can not like your race you're in they don't like the way you fall the way you dress where you handle yourself it could be a, a ton of things but buffy's not letting any of that be concerning of her she don't have that <laughs> So I can tell some my thing is what's wrong with you, baby? What's wrong with you? What are you having in in your atmosphere, in your environment that's not making you go to that next secure level? Because you have a lot of insecurities. You, you you're doing too much already in your marriage. You're trying to, you know, put out too many fires of what you think is fires, but it's nothing of a fire. It's just people living their lives, okay? Because it's not you could have a conversation with Scott. You can sit down and say this, but then you need to sit and see where you want to be because you are all over the place. You are all over the spectrum, baby. You go up, you go down, you go east, you go west. You know, and I'd be, I'm right with Scott. Like, I don't know what you want to do because I don't support you in being a housewife. You turn back and say, no, I don't want to be a full-time housewife. I want to work so He supported you in that. He supported you going back to school, even though. I'm pretty sure he discussed, why don't you stay in Atlanta? It may not be a, a, a better program than the one in uh, Alabama, but, of course, things are going to be a little cheaper in Alabama because it's Alabama. You come to Georgia, yes, it's going to be expensive. Are we talking about, you know, uh, five, ten, fifteen thousand? Uh, more by staying here in Atlanta and then being a little longer course. But, hell, at least you can come home at night. You know what I'm saying? Tend to these kids. Help me with these kids, Okay. Because I can see if we uh, we just had strictly boys, okay? But we don't have one boy, we have two girls. So that's a problem, okay? I, I can't have all this little bit of testosterone here and a lot of estrogen flowing around here. No, we can't have that, okay? So my whole thing, you didn't really think the whole thing out. It is give and take. If Scott said, good, cool, baby, go to school, but I need you to go to school here. It's problem solved, okay? 
It's like you want to get a vacation away from your family, too, and come back and see them on the weekend. Like you were just trying to do him like he do you. Like when he want to go off with the boys, he just inform you that he's going off with the boys. And making sure you ain't got nothing to do that's going to take you out of town. So you both can't be out of town unless you're going to have a maid running all the way around the world or something. So men have always, yes, they, they don't think. And they, you know, they think they think about themselves, okay? Until we as women have to nurture them to say, No, look, I need to do this, I need to do that. Can we readjust? You know, it's all about compromise. You know, if you didn't want to compromise, you should have just stayed single, no kids, okay? Unless you could have them kids all by yourself. But to say this to say that Buffy, I call fire not not Buffy, but um contest I call fire on you. Okay, because this woman, this one woman out of all of the people that were there on that show being presented on that particular day, she was the only one that got up, pushed her feelings aside of what she may have had against you or may not have had. But she just saw a woman in pain and she wanted to go and help her, you know, comfort her give her the strength to come back, talk about her, at least have that conversation in private with your husband. She was the only one that did that. And for you to come back at her a second time around, the second time around may not be the best time. You might should have stopped at the first time, the first go around. Okay. But anyway, I'm just saying. <laughs> It is kind of foul that you bite the hand that fed you, fed you with compassion and empathy. And you show nothing but total um, ratchetry back to her and disrespect. So, Contessa, file on you, baby. File on you. Anyway, I will see y'all next video. Just had to get this one out before uh, Married to Medicine come on tonight. Just wanted to touch bases because I really thought that, you know, Contessa is just doing too much. If you want to do that, you should have done that during the season. Okay, during those episodes. You shouldn't wait until it's going to give you something to talk about on the reunion. Now, we need to be talking about why you and Scott can't get it together. You can't get it together to stay together. That's what we need you to do. Okay, focus on you. All right. And your family before you go try to check Buffy for someone who's just really trying to help you, baby. And I hope she don't make that mistake on the next season that y'all get. I, mm -mm, mm -mm. Just stay teamed up with Dr. Simone and keep going strong that way. And, you know, touch bases here and there with the other women. I don't mind if you just get on Dr. Helen a little bit more. <laughs> So Dr. Hevelyn want to take off for Dr. Jack and, and, and Simone and anybody else that she deemed um, cool in her book. I don't, Buffy Stars and stuff with Dr. Hevelyn. That would be exciting and refreshing. Okay, babe. But anyway, that's all I had for this recap on this article that I found on Urban Bell Mag, uh, com. If you want to look, uh, look it up, go to that website. And get your own edification, your own spin on it, and see what you can dissect out of the article. But it was titled, Married to Medicine Star Dr. Contessa Metcalf Comes for Buffy Parcell Again. All right. Y'all be blessed. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.